Hello, in this video we will graph y equals to 2 sine of 1 half of x. There is a bunch of stuff that we need to figure out before we actually graph this sine function. So the first thing we need to calculate is the amplitude. The amplitude is the distance from the center line to the highest or the lowest point of the sine wave. And in order to calculate it, you take the coefficient of sine which is usually labeled with letter A, and take the absolute value of it, which turns everything positive. So the absolute value of 2, and we have positive 2 as a coefficient, which is also our amplitude. The next thing we need to calculate is the period, and the period is calculated by taking 2 pi and dividing it by the coefficient of x, and the coefficient of x is 1 half, so let's divide 2 pi by 1 out of 2. Since we are dividing by a fraction, we keep the first thing as is, so we have 2 pi. We change division into multiplication and flip the second fraction, so we have 2 out of 1. This gives us 2 pi times 2, we have a 4 pi, which is our period. The next thing is the phase shift. The phase shift calculates when the angle is equal to zero because the first sign that we want to calculate is sine of zero, which is equal to zero. So let's calculate when the angle one half of x is equal to zero. So we have two in the denominator and the inverse of dividing by two is to multiply by two. And whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do the same thing to the other side. So zero times two, two and two will cancel on the left and we have one x equals to zero times two, zero. So our phase shift is zero, which means the graph is not shifted and you begin the table at first x being equal to zero. The next thing you want to calculate is the quarter of the period. And the reason you want to calculate quarter of the period is because it lets you find the other four x values. So quarter of the period is calculated by taking period and dividing it by four. So from step two, we know that period is equal to four pi and we want to divide it into four equal pieces. Four goes into four one time and we get that quarter of the period is equal to pi. Once we know the quarter of the period, which we had was equal to pi, we can begin by looking for five key x values, which are calculated by taking phase shift and adding four quarters of the period. The first x value is actually the phase shift. The second x value can be calculated by taking the previous x value, which was the first one, and adding quarter of the period to it. So our second x value is equal to, the first x value was 0 plus quarter of the period, which is pi. So this gives us second x value being equal to pi. Third x value is calculated by taking the previous x value, so it was the second x, and adding quarter of the period to it. So the third x value can be calculated by taking pi, which was our x2, and adding pi to it, because this is our quarter of the period, and we get that third x value is equal to 2 pi. Our fourth x value can be calculated by taking previous x value, which is third x, and adding quarter of the period to it. So x4 is equal to, the third x was 2 pi plus quarter of the period, which is pi. So this gives us fourth x being equal to 2 plus 1, 3 pi. And our last x value, the fifth one, can be calculated by taking the previous x value, which was x4, and adding quarter of the period to it. So we get x5 equals to fourth x was equal to 3 pi plus quarter of the period, which is pi, 
and we get x5 is equal to 4 pi. So we have first x value was 0, then we had a pi, then we had a 2 pi, 3 pi, and the last x value was 4 pi. And in order to complete this table, we need to substitute these values into 2 sine of 1 half of x. If you see no plus or minus, it means there are no shifts in the graph, which makes calculating sine values very easy, because unshifted sine begins at 0, when x is 0, y is 0, then it goes to the coefficient, goes back to 0, the negative of coefficient, and the graph ends at 0. But you can absolutely substitute the x values into 2 sine of 1 half times x and we had x was equal to 0. So let's simplify this a little bit. We have 2 times sine of 1 half times 0 is 0. Here we have a scientific calculator and we are in radians. So let's plug in 2 times sine of 0 and it's equal to 0. The next x value was pi. So we have 2 sine of 1 half times pi. We need to simplify this a little bit. So we're multiplying 1 half times pi. Pi is out of 1. And when you multiply in fractions, you multiply numerators together. So 1 times pi, we have a pi. And 2 times 1, we have a 2 in the denominator. So this becomes 2 sine of pi out of 2. Notice how this hits quadrantal angle of pi out of 2 or 90 degrees. And this should simplify into 2 if my pattern was correct. So we have 2 times sine of pi out of 2 and this gives us a 2. The next x value was 2 pi. So to substitute it into the sine function we have 2 sine of 1 half times 2 pi instead of x. We need to multiply this 2 pi by 1 half. 2 pi is out of 1. We should simplify before multiplying and 2 goes into 2 one time and this becomes 2 sine of pi. We have just hit another quadrantal angle of pi radians which is 180 degrees. So 2 sine of pi should be equal to 0. Let's check if this is true. So 2 sine of pi is equal to 0. The next x value is 3 pi, so let's substitute 3 pi into 2 sine of 1 half of x. So this, this is 1 half times 3 pi, and this is our angle. 3 pi is out of 1, and we get 2 sine of 1 times 3, 3 pi out of 2 times 1, 2. If you have calculated phase shift period and quarter of the period correctly, the angle inside of the sign should always simplify into the quadrantal angles. This is 3 pi out of 2, which is on negative y axis, which is equal to 270 degrees. So 2 sine of 3 pi out of 2 should be equal to negative 2. So let's plug in 2 times sine of 3 pi out of 2 and this is equal to negative 2. And last but not least we need to plug in 4 pi into 2 sine of 1 half of x and instead of x we plug in 4 pi. 4 pi is out of 1. Let's reduce before multiplying. So 2 goes into 4 2 times and this becomes 2 sine of 2 pi. 2 pi is coterminal with the 0 radian angle. So 2 sine of 2 pi is equal to 0 again. Once you have this table, you can graph it on x and y axis. So our first x point is 0, the second one is pi, then we have 2 pi, then there was a 3 pi, and our last x value was 4 pi. 
the amplitude is 2 so 1 2 the highest point will be 2 and the lowest point will be negative 2 now we can plot the points when x is 0 y is 0 when x is pi y goes to the coefficient so we have a 2 then we go back to 0 at 2 pi we go to the negative of the coefficient which is negative 2 at 3 pi and we go back to 0 at 4 pi once we have all five points plotted we can connect the graph with the curve so this is our y equals to 2 sine of one half of x graph that's all.